Let's go to the business news now with our reporter Jonathan Mitchell, who's beaming in with a magnificent shirt live from Wellington. The IMF, the International Monetary Fund, uh, Jonathan, has warned of the risks facing New Zealand. Evening, John. It was a fairly uh, healthy report card for the New Zealand economy. Solid economic growth, underpinned by those things we've been hearing about lately. You know, strong immigration, rising commodity prices, especially that recovery in dairy and construction. But it has pointed out the risks. Solid immigration might reignite that housing market, and the IMF has suggested the Reserve Bank of New Zealand could have debt-to-income ratios as an additional tool to cool the market if needed, but essentially those have been put on the back burner. The government's ordered a cost-benefit analysis on those, so don't expect any immediate action uh, now or before the general election. This is interesting, this one, isn't it? Also, uh, we've looked at this before, another settlement reached over unfair bank fees announced today, right? That's right. This is this long-running dispute going for several years by the group called Fair Play on Fees. It's included tens of thousands of banking customers and has involved action against several banks, alleging the banks were ripping customers off with excessively high fees on credit card payments, overdrafts and dishonoured payments. Uh, we know that ANZ and Kiwi Bank have made settlements with this group. Uh, today the group has dropped action against the BNZ Bank, but there's not a lot of detail that we know, and as big as the question, how successful has this group been in the interests of consumers? We do know that BNZ has said it doesn't accept liability. It has made a contribution uh, to the group's legal fees, but we don't know if consumers or the banking customers have received any money at all, and action is continuing against Westpac Bank. Yeah, thanks, Jonathan. We'll keep looking at this. What did the markets do today? The top 50 index ended uh, today down 14 points to 7,412 and the dollar fairly steady just under 69 US cents and 93.7 Australian. Jonathan Mitchell with the business news from Wellington. Thanks Jonathan.